First up, we have a spot of good news coming in from London. Well, Beijing bronze medalist and India's star hope Vijendra Singh has started his Olympic campaign on a winning note. Well, Vijendra beat Kazakhstan's Dana Bek Sukhanov 14-10 in the round of 32 in the men's middleweight 75-kg bout at the London Olympics. Well, the Indian dressed in red showed no signs of nerves, considering the fact that the match could have been his last bout for India in the Olympics. The Rani boxer fought with impeccable skills to down to Kanoet by four in the first round. The start of the second round showed that Vijendra was in no mood to let the team have the better of him as he was quick on his feet to deliver a couple of other cats to win the round for three. By the start of the third round, it was quite clear the match was turning to as Vijendra was able to deliver a nasty blow which led to Sukhanov's bleeding from the nose. Vijendra won the round 5 3 to adjourn the proceedings with a 14 10 overall score. Vijendra will now be facing Terrell Gosha of the United States of America. Well, it was a mixed day for India at boxing, but the day ended with an emphatic win by Vijendra Singh. Here is sports editor Gaurav Kala with all the details from London. There are big hopes from the boxing contingent at London 2012. And today, the first full day of competition at the 30th Olympic Games saw two Indian boxers in action. Young Shiva Thapa, the 18-year-old, he started off India's boxing campaign, but unfortunately, he could not measure up to his Mexican opponent, who won the bout fairly comfortably. After that, all action shifted to Vijinder Singh. He's the standout performer in this Indian boxing squad and he was facing a tough opponent from Kazakhstan. In the end, what we saw from Vijinder was a masterclass. He showed what he's all about. This is his third Olympic Games and he came out in flying colors. The first round was a classic Vijinder round. He took the lead and then he hung on to that lead. He won the first round 5-4. The second round was very, very crucial and always is in any boxing encounter at the amateur level when you only have three rounds to play with. It was very important that Vijinder won that round and he did exactly that. He adopted the same strategy that he had in the first round. He won that 4-3 and he took a two-point lead into the final round. And in that final round, he knew he just had to avoid his opponent and he had to go for the counter punches. Vijinder is a fantastic counter puncher and that's exactly what he did. It was a perfect fight. We spoke to G.S. Sandhu, the coach of Vijinder Singh and the Indian boxing contingent. And he told us that the Kazakh boxer came right into the game plan of the Indians. And that's exactly how they wanted the fight to pan out. That's exactly how Vijinder wanted the fight to pan out. And that's exactly how the entire country wanted the fight to pan out. Because the Indian boxing contingent, we have high hopes from them. And if Vijinder can continue fighting like this, he'll have to up his game a little bit. But he needs to continue fighting like this. He needs to continue to fight his fight. He needs to continue to fight with his game plan. And we could be on to a big thing at London 2012 as far as boxing is concerned, as far as Vijinder Singh is concerned. With camera person Subodh Saxena, I'm Gaurav Gala at Excel, the boxing venue for headlines today.